Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Red Raptor Rides and our JPOG playthrough. In the last episode, we made my favorite dinosaur, Ceratosaurus, and some of those other Morrison creatures. Say hi, Ceratosaurus. Man. Man, I love Ceratosaurus. It, it's done dirty in so much paleo media. It gets like five seconds of screen time in JP3. It's just beaten up as a punching bag for Allosaurus in Jurassic Fight Club and in uh, when dinosaurs roamed America, it gets murked really fast. Poor Ceratosaurus. It's like, it's that size where it's menacing, but not menacing enough. <laughs> Oh, oh, I thought you were gonna go kill something. Now you're just gonna scavenge. So, like, being in that in-between size, it's like, yeah, you're menacing, but... You're small enough to be a punching bag for the bigger carnivores, just to show how cool the bigger carnivores are. It's a cheap tactic to make other dinosaurs seem cooler. But, people keep doing it. Like, having Spinosaurus just kill T-Rex really fast. It's just it's a cheap tactic to make Spinosaurus seem cooler. Oh, whoa, we made 5,000 from that picture! Okay, Triceratops is getting there. Where's the Triceratops? Okay. Absolutely. A lot of Edmontosaurus, though. This might be it for Edmontosaurus. This is so much of it. So, so much of it. Yeah, we are uh, completing Hell Creek B now. Oh, I thought you were chasing that cow. Okay. Completing Hell Creek B now. Getting our Triceratops, and Monosaurus. Okay, thank you. Oh, I think he's just gonna talk about being five stars for the rest of the game. So we could just ignore John Hammond for the rest of our lives, which is fine. Oh, and we're making mad money here. Oh, hold up. No, 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 no. There we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, Dr. Wu. Okay, cool. Also, in other news, wait, I should I should start making an exhibit, right? Let's see here. I can't have one big Hell Creek area here. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Actually, that'd be pretty cool. I have a dinosaur park area down here. So this only makes sense, right? Should I release the Taurosaurus or just... Nah, I could split it up. I'll... Toss Edmontosaurus into up here-ish. How long do you have to live? Ooh, we only have a year left. Oh no. Urgent yeah, my from Dr. earliest dinosaurs are gonna start dying pretty soon, actually. It's 2003, 2004 ish already? Can you tell me? Can you tell me when it is? 2004. Wow. Wow, okay. So we have, like, Spider-Man 2 is coming out very soon. I think it's June of 2004. Now we're getting Spider-Man 2, guys. Oh, it's, what's wrong with you? Maybe we're stuck on something. Because you have everything you need to survive. Here, let's revive you. Is anyone else... Is anyone else in horrible shape? You're... Sleepy. You're hungry, and what, what is wrong with you guys? You have water, you have food. Okay. Is, so, do you have a disease or something? No. Um, you're just dumb? Dr. Sattler, what's wrong? Yes? Okay. Oh, did another one have a seizure? Are you seized? Oh man. I don't know what's happening to you guys, but I'm sorry. All of you are starving, is it? Is there something wrong? Should I just make another feeder for you? Here, we can have more goats. Oh no, they're, they're sad. Okay, at least you're better. When they have a seizure, like, everything goes down. Okay, so you're going back to sleep. You're like, yep, yeah, helicopter woke me up. Now I need my nappy nap. More monosaurs. Okay, everything is just falling apart. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. But... No. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, Albertosaurus. I hope you get better soon. Please get better. Look, is this a dead cow? 
Are you dead? Yeah, these are two dead cows right here. Oh. Actually, I don't have proof for this yet, but are helicopters flying over this exhibit? Do I have evidence of that? Are you starving too? No, you don't. None of you are starving over here. You're all very happy. You're fine too. You're fine. So, it's not taking a path across... Huh. You hunt, please. Message from Dr. Oh, because your, your hunt meter went all the way up, so you seized. They just need to kill something or else they get very upset. Oh, and all the guys who are trying to sleep, they're waking up. Okay, they're waking up anyways, that's fine. Dr. Sattler, shut up. You always have bad news. Oh, Dr. Wu. This is it, I think. The last thing we need to research, the avoidance beacon. Okay, enough of that. Enough! <laughs> yes, okay, empty, good. Uh, so, we can ignore Dr. Wu now. He's good for the rest of the game. Except just telling us about the genes. How are you, Claire? We haven't looked at our guests in a while. Are you happy, Claire? Park shows plenty of promise. Oh, okay, so far. You have... How haven't you seen anything? Look, look, a viewing vent right there. Oh, it's just a viewing vent here. Playpen right there. Go look. Oh no. Dr. Sattler, what is it? Are you dumb? <laughs> I really don't feel like making more Alberta sources. They're about to eat. I, they're eating. I can't. I can't revive you right now. Let them eat. Yeah. Okay. You're fed, you're fed, you're fed or seized, so... I'll send the order now. You, you're done. You're good. Huh, man, I don't know what's wrong with you guys. I mean, I know you're in a completely different time than you're used to, in a completely different world, but really, you'd think it'd be less stressful. Anyway, so some good news for the channel. I did get to visit the Museum of Natural History recently. I went Tuesday, so a couple days ago. I went Tuesday with my fiance, took some pictures, took some videos. Where I talked about the creatures there. There was a lot of stuff too. And I'm trying to learn a few things. I don't know everything. I don't know every animal that lived in the past. So I'm trying to learn as well as educate a little. Weather. What's the weather like? Weather's good. So I did end up going, and I had a good time. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot that's, uh... Outdated. A lot that's wrong, but... You know, there was a lot that was good, too. Like, more than I... Expected. Or, right, more than I remembered. Which is nice. So, I, I had a good time with my fiancé there. I'm not gonna spoil... Oh, is that at 100, okay. I'm not going to spoil the outcome, the results, but it was it was pretty epic. There's a lot more Teddy Roosevelt stuff than I remember. I know, I was talking about Teddy Roosevelt before, how he's my favorite president, so it was cool that... Yes, they got rid of his statue, which is unfortunate. It has Native Americans in it, you have to get rid of it, apparently. Um, but... Um, a lot of Teddy stuff, like there's a Teddy Roosevelt Park, actually, next to the museum. So, park dedicated to him, and there are a lot of cute puppies there playing. Like, there's a dog, there are two dog parks there. So the puppies are playing, we were watching the puppies. Oh, they were such good boys. So good. Uh, there are Teddy Roosevelt quotes on the walls and the entrance. And uh, they put a plaque. Huh, where his statue was, like, come Welcome. on, just a plaque for the best president we've had. Or, one of the best presidents we've had. Man. Now, let's look at our love- Oh wait, no, 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 I don't want them here! No, 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 no. I didn't- what am I doing? Oh, man. Dang, my brain was just on autopilot right there. Still, still it looks great. I, I love this Edmontosaurus. 
I didn't really realize the like yellow stripe and the orange striping here. That is cool. It's not an animal that I get all that often. But it's still a great one. Here, let's... Six years. That's the highest lifespan in the game. I did not know that. Most of them only go up to five. I didn't know some of them go up to six. We could keep that there for Karethosaurus and uh, Styracosaurus. That's going to be our dinosaur park area. Our dinosaur park in Jurassic Park, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, Zam, epic. And it was kind of funny too. Um, uh, we weren't on a tour. I mean, I was basically my own tour guide. <laughs> no, not to... Not trying to go or anything, just that's how it was. I'm trying to record and stuff. Dr. Uh, okay, Dr. Wu, that's fine. If it was Dr. Sattler, I was about to just shoot myself. <laughs> but funny enough, there's this older gentleman giving a tour of uh, the T-Rex. And uh, he was talking about how, hey, a T-Rex wasn't a scavenger. There was this stupid theory years ago that T-Rex was a scavenger, but we now think otherwise. We know it wasn't a scavenger. Like, T-Rex had everything it needed to be successful in its environment. And that just that just brought tears to my eyes and joy to my heart to hear someone saying that and educating the general public on some common misconceptions. Um, you have researched everything you need to build the perfect Jurassic Park. Well done. Thank you, Dr. Harry Wu. It only took me four years to do. Okay, we're getting there with Tricep. Ooh, Dr. Grant. Ooh, okay, okay, we're getting there. Just a quick side note here. I realize this as I'm editing. JPOG calls him Harry Wu. This is the only source of Jurassic Park media I've ever seen that says Harry Wu. Every other source says Henry. He's Dr. Henry Wu, so they actually got the character's name wrong in this game, and it only took me 20 years to realize that. Wait, that's illegal. Maybe we'll need another medium or another small. <gasps> Spider-Man 2 is coming out, guys! Spider-Man 2! It's June 2004! Oh my gosh, wow. Oh boy, yeah. Oof, the... One of the best superhero movies. Just one of the best movies ever. Spider-Man 2 is so good. Uh, it ranked two on my favorite movies list, just beating Jurassic Park, which I put as third. Um, yeah, so, uh, Toby's performance in that, so good. And it just perfectly captures the balance of trying to be Spider-Man, trying to be Peter Parker, and how he's a complete failure in life. Uh, so good. Such a good movie. Such a heartfelt, heart-wrenching movie. Like, you watch it as a kid, and you're like, oh, you know, this is fun, it has Spider-Man in it, wow, he's swinging webs and that, that, whatever. Then you watch it as an adult, and you're like, man, this guy's life sucks, I 100% relate to this guy, he's broke, <laughs> everybody is disappointed in him, you know, he just wants to give up on all his responsibilities, because it's stressful and it sucks, like, you know, but it all works out for him in the end, spoiler alert. Um, Hatchery's here, okay. So let's make more monosources for my monosaurs. It's just poor and lonely over there. Actually, let's make this bigger. Let me make the monosaurs first. It's good to see you. Yeah, let's get yeah. three, three more. Uh, but yes, um, Spider-Man Two is just such a classic movie. It's. If you haven't seen it yet, go watch it. You really won't regret it. Here. More lake. There we go. Let's get rid of all this. Maybe we could have a little island out here. Whoops, not what I wanted to do. A little island. Oh, I can't. I can't do that. Oh well. But now people can watch our lovely Edmontosaurus. Oh, this is one of those underappreciated dinosaurs, especially in JPOG. You never hear anyone talk about this in JPOG. No one's in a rush to get Edmontosaurus, but I love you, Edmontosaurus. I love you. 
It does look a little bit strange with the huge eyebrow ridges. It kind of looks like a frog. But, <laughs> but the rest of the design is very lovely. Ooh, maybe we need more feeders. Here, let me get some more for you guys. That should be okay. I move this, push this. We just want a nice spread, you know, so the dinosaurs can not have to worry about traveling for their meal. There we go. Sorry you're all lonely over there. Right, let's let's go to the chopper. Let's get to the chopper. As Schwarzenegger lovely said. Okay, shoot. Five. I don't know why it starts you on retire. Like, if I just want to snipe my Admonosaurus in the head. This isn't that kind of game, guys. I'm not doing that. Alright, while I'm transporting these Admonosaurus, I got a message from Dr. Sattler and what, two urgent messages from Dr. Sattler? She is always the bearer of bad news. Can't she say something nice like hi or good to see you or sorry I was in the minion, that movie was bad? Huh, <sighs> jeez, the nerve of some people. Well, that's all the Admonosaurus has moved. I won't make more packies in here. I think having them with Homalocephalae is good enough. Uh, maybe I'll put like two, something like that. Let's. Great. Ah, it doesn't matter. Just, just in case it's Triceratops, then I could sell this one. It, money is really no object to me right now. Oh, they're sick. Okay. Dryosaurus died. Excuse me. Dryosaurus died. How? From what? What could it have possibly died from? Dryosaurus? Which Dryosaurus d Excuse me. From Dr. Wu. How did you die? Malnutrition. You, you got yourself killed. Congratulations. Are you? You're good. You're good. You need to sleep. Stop running around and sleep. Jeez. Hi there. Gosh, Message guys. Dryosaurus. Uh, let's get two. Ugh, ugh. Man, these, these guys are crazy. Come on, just go to sleep. Stegosaurus, how are you doing? Oh my gosh, Dr. Sally, I am literally gonna murder you. Sorry. First you were in The Last Jedi as that horrible character, Haldo. Oh my gosh, Haldo. And now you're just giving me bad news all over the place. Here. Immunize, Bumblefoot. Vaccinate species, I don't care. Get out of my face. Where's Parasaurus office? Here. Um, you have Bumblefoot, don't- How are the epidemics of Bumblefoot? It sounds like a very individual specific kind of disease, like, not something that can spread. I don't know what's wrong with them. Alright, I think everyone should be clear. Wait. Fly. Shoot. Why does it start on my tire? Oh, there's one. One diseased bitten one. Is it a Pachycephalus? Oh, someone over here. Yup, it's the Pachycephalosaurus. Did I snipe him? Yes, I sniped him. Did you see that snipe? Okay. Who else? Ankylosaurus should be fine by now. I immunized the whole species. Sell that. We're all good over here. All is good in the hood. Now let's look at those Ammonosauruses. I like the calls that they give. They give very beautiful calls. Which is true of all the Hadrosaurids and their relatives like Aranosaurus in this game. Like you just hear them from a distance singing and trumpeting to one another. It's very beautiful. It, it makes your Jurassic Park just feel so lively. Also, Ammonosaurus is huge. They, they correctly showed how huge this thing is. If, if you looked at the, at the chart here, this thing is massive. <laughs> It's massive. It's like the size of Tyrannosaurus. Yes. Okay, good. Do I have Triceratops at 100% now? Or no? Triceratops at ah, 96. Come on, just a tiny bit. A tiny bit. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. 
I'm going to get two to three of a group B. No, unlock site. This gives us Tyrannosaurus, Styracosaurus, and Carithosaurus. I'm going to take most of them out of here. I'm going to put them in there. Honestly, I don't know why they have Judith A and Judith B. Why didn't they just have, like, Dinosaur Park, shift a couple dinosaurs, and then Judith River Group, shift a couple dinosaurs, or, like, Lance Formation. I don't know. Whatever. It's not my problem. Here, go there, you go there. Perfect. So now we'll start getting Tyrannosaurus flowing in while we wait for Triceratops. Shut up, <laughs> Dr. Grant. You and Ellie just... Oh, there it is. They're vocalizing to each other. But this is a very natural environment. From the Hell Creek Formation, Western North America, 66 million years ago, you have your Pachycephalosaurus, your Ankylosaurus, and Monosaurus and Nectins. Torosaurus in the background. Oh, look at them. They look like a puppy. They're just running around playing, having fun. Oh. What was I talking about? I have no idea what I was talking about. <laughs> it's just, any train of thought I had before just left me, just whoosh. Teddy Roosevelt. Let's talk about Teddy Roosevelt. And, okay, yeah. Funny, funnily enough, I was watching the Rough Riders movie with uh, Sam Elliott, I forgot the name of the guy who played Teddy. But I, I was watching that the night before, so I just had a big bunch of Teddy. So... <laughs> but as much as I love Teddy Roosevelt, I do not love Franklin Roosevelt. He is like one of the most overrated, overhyped presidents that there is, or have ever been. Like, here's the president during the new... Well, it was his New Deal, and during World War II. Man, okay, like the New Deal, yeah, sure, he built a lot of infrastructure, put people to work, yada yada yada. But studies have come out and said, like, hey, the New Deal didn't even help all that much. And it didn't even work, it may have even made the economy worse as we got further along into the, into the Depression. Uh, so, wow, good job, FDR. Um, also, like, yeah, wow, his leadership through World War II is so great, he got us to that tough time. Like, yeah, sure, he did. But also, during that time, he imprisoned Japanese citizens just for being Japanese. <laughs> like, bruh, come on. So, whenever anyone talks about FDR, just bring up, hey, Japanese internment. Not good. <laughs> also, he served four terms, like, George Washington, Serve two terms, set an example, it's like, okay guys, don't serve any longer than this. No problem. Uh, there's no law against that yet, for most of US history. And the vast majority of presidents abided by that, like, hey, okay, we'll only serve two terms and we'll give up. That's fine. Uh, except we got FDR, who served, well he attempted four terms, he died during his fourth term. Oh, finally. There, there's there's Triceratops. Done. Lovely. Lovely. Um, so, yes. I'm not a big fan of FDR. So, way overblown, way overhyped. What should we do here? Yeah, um, also, thankfully Woodrow Wilson is going down the tier list as time goes on. More people are like, okay, Woodrow Wilson was a pretty horrible dude. <laughs> If you're not an American, I'm sorry, this might be foreign to you. But, uh, American history's my thing. Message from Dr. Wu. Okay, let's see, Dr. Wu. There we go. Now Dr. Wu doesn't annoy me anymore. He's only a bearer of good news. Actually, we can, uh, jump to... Welcome. Jump Taking to the balloon. Wow. Enjoy it's yourself. National Free Balloon Day. Okay. Oh, a thousand, a thousand, a thousand, a thousand. I'm not really counting anymore. They're just... Give me money, give me money. The money's flowing in. Message from Dr. Grant. Where's those acros? They're under me, aren't they? They're like right under me. Back. Oh, there they are. Here. Lovely picture. Who the heck? 
I think those are like the new sounds from DJ E that they give to the guests, but uh, it's just weird. Ooh, free, unique quality amber, no risk at all. This is amazing. I hope that's Tyrannosaurus. Yeah, let's make Triceratops and well, stop talking about presidents. Let's get back on brand here. I uh, just need to make three Triceratops. The Ceratops is great. Lovely creature. I wish I could see one in real life, and I always well, say that. I know, it's annoying. Um, while well, we have all this buttloads of money, let's upgrade you to a high secure- 12,000 just for that. Upgrade you like that. Let's get the Tyrannosaurus portion online. There, that's uh, an interesting exhibit. Well, hopefully, there's no fighting with the dinosaurs in my Jurassic Park. That's completely unethical. The Spinosaurus enclosure doesn't need to be ginormous. That's good. Welcome back. How's that? Okay. Both pretty sizable. They both both decent. Let's just make that a little more land based. There we go. How are you guys? You're all happy? You're all happy. I know, I need to attend to my Triceratops, but we haven't spent too much time with my Velociraptors. They're all playing, having a nice time, socializing together. Oh, he did the thing. Now he did the thing. When I need Triceratops for my thumbnail. Okay, thank you for that, Velociraptor. Are any of you, like, hungry? Oh, you're hungry. You're gonna hunt soon. So let's watch that. Okay, pretty epic. Let's see. Who are you going for? You're kind of confused, but alright. Is this a feeding frenzy sort of thing? Why are you running in circles? Just go for the goat. <sighs> I think they're hungry, but they don't know what to eat. Yeah, there's a goat right over there spawning. <laughs> they're just getting stuck on each other. Just kill the goat! There we go. There we go. They need to eat. If they don't eat, they get stressed. If they get stressed, they break out. So yeah, enjoy your meal, Velociraptor. Okay, you're all good. Nail. Fossil shipment. Ooh, Tyrannus. Ooh, 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 okay, okay, Dr. Grant. You're doing a wonderful job. It's F2. No, F3. We can get out of here. And throw you into... You're mediocre. Let's take one out, put two into there. That should be Tyvanosaurus done soon. <gasps> Hello there! Okay, I don't know what's going on here, but this is um, interesting. Triceratops House was never my favorite in this game, but I'll try to warm up to them. I'll spend time with them, you know? I, it's me. It's not them, it's me. I just was never a Triceratops guy. I'm more of a Theropod guy. Five. Oh my gosh, this game. <laughs> Shot that one in the eye, but I'm sure it'll recover after years of therapy. Then, after this, all we need to do is get. The Judith River Group B dinosaurs, which they're processing now. And, uh, yeah, we gotta get the Allosaurus and Kentrosaurus from Tendaguru Beds. Then, have a finale with the Chenini formation. You know, just before we end this game and end this 
episode, I, I just want to thank Bluton. I know you're not a thing anymore, but really, those chads over at Bluton just really went all out on this game. They were rushed for time, they, a lot of ideas had to be cut, you know, yada yada yada, but they, they still delivered a very fun, enjoyable game. Let's give them another feeder in here. A very great game. That's brought me 20 years of good memories. So, okay, that wasn't Tyrannosaurus. That was Styracosaurus, that unique quality. They might take a minute to wake up. How are you guys? You adapting well? Oh, it's actually chewing. Look at that. Look at that. It's chewing. I don't... I don't know if it would have chewed in that exact motion. Maybe something. Something like that. But it's, it's chewing. It's chewing alright. Which is, yeah, an adaptation that Hadrosaurids had. Aww. That they could actually chew Message their food, unlike Dr. most Dr. other herbivorous dinosaurs. Sauropods just chomped their food and what swallowed it down. They didn't, they didn't chew it, they just stripped Message it off of trees. John Hammond. John Hammond, yes, you're gonna talk to me about having five stars again, are ya? Yes, you are. John, that's not really important, Mail. Okay, that's fine. That's that's good. Now, the Triceratops should be waking up soon. Maybe if I shoot them, they'll wake up. But that's just animal cruelty, and no one likes that. This has Triceratops now. You better be paying top dollar for this thing. Actually, yeah, let's use the viewing dome. Oh, man. Oh, it's good scratching. Wow, how... how majestic. How epic is this? Oh man, okay, next view. Taurosaurus is fighting in the back. Got the lovely Triceratops in the foreground. What a chad. What chads, all of you. Okay. I think, yeah, these two views don't really offer much. Oh, oh wow, that was a good view right there. Good to see you. Man, that was a good, I had a good view. No, 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 uh, give me, give me, view. Super. Here, I, I want a thumbnail. Come this way, Mr. Triceratops, or Ms. Triceratops. Oh, they're having fun, they're playing around. If I were to throw a carnivore in here, it would just trample that poor thing. Message from Dr. Grant. I believe, I've read in the wiki that Triceratops can rampage. And they are the only herbivores in this game that require, a, well, they don't require it, but that it's recommended that they have medium security. Only herbivore in the entire game. Message from Dr. Oh my gosh, Dr. Will, just calm down. Calm down. Man, it is okay. You're you're in the Taurosaurus. This isn't what I wanted to see. Oh, just just lovely. These remind me of uh, Sarah's dad in the Land Before Time. I don't know why I just decided to make the Triceratops the horribly racist, aggressive one. <laughs> but I guess they're stuck with that label now. Sorry, guys. Three horns. They never play with long necks. <laughs> Actually, I could have a Land Before Time exhibit. I could throw the Triceratops, Stegosaurus, uh, Kamarasaurus can be Littlefoot. Uh, are you guys okay? Um, we could do Parasaurol Office. I know Ducky's a Sorol Office. Close enough. What should we do here? Let's see, uh, just a lot of Carithosaurus. And, okay. Styracosaurus is almost done. But it's good to know you're keeping let's go back to our. Who do we go back to? Let's go back to Velociraptor. So I think we can call it an episode here. Remember, if you enjoyed this episode, to please leave a like, subscribe, and to check out my social media. See you next time. Oh my gosh, Dr. Grant! <laughs>